A greedy person is never satisfied with wealth, has an intense and selfish desire for something especially like wealth or power. Contentment, on the other hand, is a state of happiness and satisfaction. It is true peace of mind and has absolutely nothing to do with any external condition, but rather one's attitude. A wise man said the antidote to greed is contentment. If you have a strong sense of contentment, it doesn't matter whether you obtain the object of your desire or not. Either way, you are still content. The Bible says, watch out, be on your guard against all kinds of greed. A man's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. The children from grade 3 onwards have made great preparations for this awesome moment to display their God-given talents over to the play, The Golden Touch. Golden Touch. This is the story of King Midas. Long ago, there was a beautiful kingdom. It was ruled by Midas. He owned so much gold that he could buy an entire kingdom. But nobody ever got to see the gold he owned. He loved his gold dearly. The kingdom always wondered where so much gold could be hidden. Where do you think my father, the king, keeps so much gold? I have no idea. Can one have so much gold and never showed off? I've heard people say that His Majesty always kept his gold locked in a dungeon and that he goes out every day to count his golden ricks and coins. And my mother, the queen, is really quite amused about it. Allow me, my king, as your queen, to say something. Please, don't count your gold every day, your majesty. What if it diminishes just like that? Don't ever joke about it. Do you know how priceless gold is? Look at the gold necklace you are wearing. Isn't it shiny and beautiful? Sure it is, your majesty. Pardon me if I dare offer you an opinion of mine in the interest of your well-being. No matter how priceless gold is, it cannot buy all the happiness in this world. Ah, dear queen. Gold can buy me anything, everything. How can anything be more valuable than this? Oh dear me, how I wish I could make him understand. Princess, my sweet child, Marigold, do you know why I named you so? Because I love gold. Mmm, the smell of gold. Oh, Father, do come and see how beautiful the flowers are. It's such a lovely day. See how the dewdrop shine on the grass? But to me, it is still not shinier than gold. You won't understand, Marigold. But father, how can gold be more beautiful than these butterflies? You are too small to understand, Marigold. Let me go to the palace court. My subjects must be waiting. The King, His Imperial Highness, His Excellency, His Royal Majesty, make way for the King. 
at your service, Your Highness. Well, what's going on in our empire, Minister? All is well, Your Excellency. You take such good care of your subjects. Everyone is happy under your rule, Your Majesty. Your generosity, charity, liberality towards your people has made this kingdom the happiest one, my lord. However, there is an old man here who needs your help, Your Majesty. Well, what would you want me to do for you? I have lost everything in life, my lord. Would you kindly provide me with food, shelter and clothing, your highness? I need your favor, your majesty, to live a decent life. Grant him everything he needs and make him comfortable and happy. Nobody comes here and goes empty-handed. Thank you, Your Excellency. You have given me the gift of dignity of life, my lord. I will be ever grateful to you. Long live the king! Your Highness, our court fisherman has brought you a great catch. Let me present to you this giant fish, my lord. What? An ordinary fish? I ordered you to start catching goldfish encrusted with precious stones. Pardon me, Your Majesty, but how can you eat that? How dare he talks back to you, Your Highness? Even when it comes to cakes, Our Majesty eats only carrot cakes, you see? He loves the word carrot. Gardener, I remember passing orders to plant golden rose plants in the garden. Is it done? Your Highness, excuse my ignorance, my lord. I am yet to understand what a golden rose plant is. This is becoming too much. My humble salutations, Your Highness. Here is the beautiful gown that you wanted for your daughter, Your Excellency. I have changed my mind. I want my little princess to wear a gown made of gold. Make her a new one now! He is kind, but his greed for gold is simply unexplainable. Come on, court jester. Entertain me. Tell me something to cheer me up. Your wish is my command, Your Majesty. Once there was a kingdom and it was always dark. Do you know why? It was dark because there were too many knights in the kingdom, Your Excellency. <laughs> you and your jokes. Don't annoy me, Jester. Pardon me, my lord. Let me try one more. Why did the king go to the dentist? Well, to get his teeth combed. <laughs> you imbecile! Get out of my sight before you lose your head. As time passed, the king continued spending more time with his gold all alone, counting it over and over again. One day, as he was counting his gold as usual, a fairy appeared from nowhere. Oh, good heavens! Who are you and why are you here? Ah, I see you eyeing my precious possessions. Are you here to rob my gold? Ah, ha, ha. Noble king, what would I do with gold? It is of no use to me. I am here to thank you as you had taken care of the old man very well. He is a very good friend of mine. I am here to grant you 
a wish. I am deeply impressed with your hospitality. A wish? I know what I want. Can I ask you for anything? Yes, of course you can. I want a ship full of gold. No, I want a palace full of gold. No, no, even that's not enough. Wait, I know what could make me happy. Give me a golden touch. I wish that whatever I touch will turn to pure gold. I will grant your wish as promised, King. As soon as the sun rises tomorrow, anything you touch will turn to pure gold. But remember, King, it will not make you happy. Gold can never buy happiness. Ah ha ha! How could someone like her understand the value of gold? I will be the richest and happiest man in the world. How comfortable it would be to sleep on a bed made of gold. Who in the world has a fortune like that? Midas could not sleep that night. He was eagerly waiting for the morning to come, and the morning did come. Midas was excited to try his golden touch. Midas went on to touch everything he could find. Tired with all the running, I still have the entire kingdom to turn into gold. I must take a procession through the kingdom to show off my golden touch. But I need to eat something first. I am hungry. There are fruits, meat, fish, and all kinds of delicacies laid out on the table for you, Your Majesty. Oh, this looks delicious! What a feast! Oh, what? Let me have a drink of water. I am thirsty. Oh, this is all fine and scary. Everything has turned into solid gold. I am thirsty. What will I drink? But His Highness. Always wanted a gold fish encrusted with precious stones. How can I eat or drink gold? Will the richest king on earth die of hunger and thirst? The king looks very sad. He has food that is of no use to him. Poor king. Come with me to the garden, father. Let's go for a walk. Oh, I've turned my lovely daughter into a shiny statue of gold, beautiful but lifeless. I am shattered. Oh no! What have I done, Marigold? Marigold! Marigold! How could this ever make me happy, Marigold? My beautiful little sparkle, say something. Oh fairy, please, please do hear me, help me. I want to 
undo my foolish wish. Please. King Midas, what is the matter? Why are you in tears? It's been just a few hours of your special gift. Do you need another boon? I beg your forgiveness. What good is this boon if it has taken away my daughter for me? What do I do with food made of gold when I cannot eat it? What do I do with water made of gold when I cannot drink it? My real boon is my little princess, my dear little daughter. But now she does not speak. What do I do with all this gold if I cannot see a smile again? Please take away my entire gold. Take away everything, but give me my marigold. Alas, your highness, look at the happiness of our life, who is now nothing but a statue. Do you now understand, your majesty, that gold can never buy all the happiness in the world? Yes, I do, my queen. Yes, I do. Oh, king. You have learned a very valuable truth of life. Gold is not everything. What matters is the love and affection around us. It never dies and it never withers. Take this. This contains magical water. Sprinkle it on everything that you have turned into gold. The water will reverse the effect of your touch. Thank you. Thank you, my fairy. Let me first sprinkle this on Marigold. She is moving. She is breathing. My dear little daughter. Father, is all well? What happened here? Nothing, my child. I am going to set everything right. I am tired of the shine. I long for the roughness of the wood of my bed. For the very first time in my life, I see the beauty of nature. Marigold, see how beautiful the flowers are. Such a beautiful day. See the dewdrops shine on the grass. <laughs> Your Majesty, the seamstress is here with the golden gown ready for our little princess. No, ask her to take it away. I need it no longer. I will never count my gold again. I am going to enjoy the simple things in nature. I am now the happiest man on the earth. Greed is the excessive desire to possess wealth. Greed can never be satisfied. It is the chief cause of our troubles. It drives us to amass more wealth by wrong means. A greedy person fails to understand relationships. It makes a person petty, dishonest, unlovable and jealous. It brings out the worst in a person. A content person lives with patience, love acceptance and peace and thus has victory over all situations in life we should be thankful to god for all the precious gifts he has given us focus on the things that you have been blessed with rather than all that you desire to have <laughs>